Welcome to a special edition of Statler and Waldorf from the balcony on Movies.com. I'm Statler. And I'm Waldorf. On today's show, we're going to look at the summer movie season that was. That's right. We'll be giving our very own... Balky Awards! We'll honor the best of a summer that was filled with countless remakes, sequels, and adaptations. So we won't be covering anything new? Hollywood didn't. Why should we? Oh. <laughs> now let's start on a positive note. Mm. Our first Balky is for most uplifting movie of the summer. That's right. We had Russell Crowe triumphing in Cinderella Man. The real-life inspiration of the athletes in Murderball. And the miraculous ability of one pair of jeans to make four different girls look good in Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. But the Balky goes to the 40-year-old virgin for showing it's never too late for your first time. Do you really think so? Uh, no. It's just a movie. Oh. Mm. Oh, well. Uh, uh, the next Balky is for best performance by Will Ferrell. He was in a lot of movies this summer. Kicking and Screaming, Bewitched, Wedding Crashers. Right, but Will's getting the Balky for The Longest Yard. Wait, wait. B Will Ferrell wasn't even in The Longest Yard. Yeah, and he's getting the Balky for finally turning down a movie. <laughs> <laughs> the next Balky goes to George Lucas for finishing his Star Wars saga. Now that that's out of the way, George can concentrate on Indiana Jones 4 and... Kissing a woman. <laughs> Finally, mm -hmm. the Balky for Worst Coach of the Year goes to Billy Bob Thornton and the Bad News Bears. That's right. His foul-mouthed coach narrowly beat out an obnoxious Martin Lawrence from rebound. With coaches like these, no wonder kids stay home and get fat. <laughs> <laughs> the Balky for Best Performance by a Summer Movie Vehicle goes to the Batmobile from Batman Begins. That thing could crush both Herbie and the General Lee without getting out of neutral. Our next Balky is for best performance by flightless Arctic waterfowl in a summer movie. I say the Balky goes to the True Life cast of March of the Penguins. And I say it goes to the sassy animated penguins from Madagascar. True Life! Sassy! True Life! Sassy! Don't you make me get out of this chair. You threaten me again and I'm cutting the brakes on your Escalade. You... Uh, <sighs> all right, well, let's take a break. In honor of the first ever Balkies, we sent Pepe the King Prong out in the street to see what you thought of all the summer movies. Yeah, who cares? Take it away, Pepe. Hola, that come weirdos. Pepe here. We all know the big hit this summer was... me. <laughs> but I'm here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and uh, I'm here to talk with people about what else they liked besides me, okay? So uh, let's find some peoples. What's your favorite movie? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, why? Because of the chocolate? No, Johnny, Johnny Depp. Depp. Okay, I knew it, okay. What's your favorite movie? Um, I like Stealth. Do you like the Stealth? <laughs> why do you think they would put Ray Charles in an action movie? What's your favorite movie, my Constantine, friend? Constantine, Constantine. Constantine, why Constantine? Because why not? Where are you going, heaven or are you going hell? Which one you take? I'm gonna uh, go limbo. <laughs> 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 I'd say Batman. Batman Begins. Batman Begins. Had the kapow and the babang. Let's let's be honest. When will Batman end? Here we are with the lovely Dakota Fanning, doing great in War of the Worlds. What is your favorite movie this year? Um, War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. What is it with this guy? Here we are at Girls Gone Wild. <laughs> is your favorite movie Star Wars? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, I really like Star Wars. I don't get out enough, though. Tell me, what is your favorite movie this season? The Wedding Crashers. The, this is funny, OK? Oh. Foot stomping, knee slapping, laugh out loud, good time. Do you like The Wedding Crashers? Oh, yes. we like it a lot. Why? She's seen it four times. It's funny. What is your favorite movie this season? Uh, wedding, wedding Crashers. crashers. Uh, wedding Crashers. Why are the women like this movie? I don't understand it, okay? Vince Vaughn, I love him. Love him. Yeah. Hysterical. Pretend that um, you're making a big pot of chocolate. Here we are with Bob Hoskins. How are you, Bob? I saw the previews for Dukes of Hazards, and I, I wasn't a good Jessica Simpson fan, but her pooper looks great in that commercial. Her what? So I think her pooper. You know, her pooper. Her heine? That's correct. She has the uh, the onion booty, and actually more onion boobies. Onion? Onion? Mm-hmm. Like like uh, like. It means uh, means they're so nice they'll make you cry. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where you are from? Alabama. No, Alabama. No. Did you come from Alabama with a banjo on your knee? <laughs> <laughs> are yeah. you attracted to me? Uh, sure. How old are you? Fifteen. 
You're not attracted to me. Bob, it's all right, Bob. Bob, I'm so sorry, Bob. How old are you? I'm 23. Okay, this is going to work out just fine. Pretend you're Ricky Ricardo. <laughs> Babalu. Babalu. Oh, Ricky. This is Pepe the King Pran signing off from Hollywood Boulevard. Okay, girls, let's go. All right, okay. let's go. <laughs> Thank you, Pepe. And now back to the summer edition of The Balkies. In the category of scariest movie of the summer, there were a lot of great contenders. That's right. We had Dark Water, The Devil's Rejects, and The Skeleton Key. But the Balky goes to The Dukes of Hazard. But that movie wasn't scary. Oh, yeah? Then why am I still having nightmares? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a great Balky. Best stunt. Yes, yes, plenty mm. of nominees. Of course, there's some great stunts in Fantastic Four. Mr. and Mrs. Smith certainly had some stunts that blew me away. But the balky goes to Tom Cruise. Yeah, well, the stunts in War of the Worlds were out of this world. That's not what I'm talking about. He's getting the balky for the publicity stunt he pulled on Oprah. Oh, and the Today Show. <laughs> mm. And Excess Hollywood. Right. Oh. <laughs> so, here's the big one, everyone. Mm. The balky for the summer movie that was worth the price of admission. Well, that's not an easy thing to achieve these days. No. Well, you know it's a tie between Batman Begins and Wedding Crashers. Well, in the event of a tie, there's only one way to decide. Hotties. Hotties. So, Batman Begins had one. Uh, Wedding Crashers had uh, 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 three uh, plus seven. Carry the four. Get the four. Uh, well, 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 it was a lot. It yeah, was a, a lot. lot. Mm -hmm. So, Vince and Owen get the balky. Mm, great job, guys. Okay. Even though it's a special episode, we can't leave you without a... Balkanism. Today's Balkanism is Travolted. Someone's career gets Travolted when one key film role rescues them from years of struggle and puts them back on the map. Like John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. Exactly. It can work, like Tom Arnold in Happy Endings, or it can fail, like Michael Keaton in Herbie Fully Loaded. Oh. oh. Mm. Oi. Oi. Oh, Mr. Mom, what did they do to mm. you? Oh. Well, that does it for our summer movie wrap-up. Next summer, expect to see more sequels, remakes, and TV retreads. Yes, well, I know one thing they won't see at the theaters next summer. Yeah, us! us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Statler and Waldorf from the balcony on Movies.com. See you next time. 